So this is how to adjust the truss rod on a steel string guitar. So the first thing that you need to do is that you need to make sure that your guitar is in tune. So I'll just get this guitar in tune. So now the guitar is in tune, um, you just want to have a quick look at your neck. So if you just grab the neck and look down the neck. So as you're looking down the guitar, you close one of your eyes so that you can focus better. And you should see that the string is a straight line and that the neck has got a curve in it. And on this neck, um, because the truss rod's totally turned off, it's got quite a big bow in it. Uh, so it looks a bit bent like a banana, but it's quite a subtle thing. You really do have to move around and look for it because uh, if you don't look for it, you might not actually see it. So now in the next step, I'm going to show you how to adjust that. So what you do is you put your finger on the very first fret and then you put another finger on the very last fret. So what that does is that makes the string a nice straight long edge. And if you look over, you can see at the 8th fret, there's quite a gap between the string and the fret. And that means that the neck is bent. So, we've seen that we've got quite a nice big gap there. So we take our truss rod. And you just put the truss rod arm in. Now, depending on the guitar model that you have, the way to always think about turning the truss rod is, is that you always want to turn it clockwise to tighten and anti-clockwise to loosen. So the way that this guitar is going, this way is clockwise, and we just slowly start to tighten it. Now because this truss rod is quite loose, you can feel now it's, it's almost got no resistance. That means it's not really doing very much work. So we just slowly tighten it up. until we find a little bit of resistance. Now we're just going to check and see what our gap is looking like. Now, when you look at the gap, you want it to be really close, almost touching, but not touching. So we've still got quite a big gap there. Let's just tighten it a little bit further. Now, about there, I can feel that the truss rod is starting to work. It's getting a little bit harder to push. So now I'm going to go a little bit more careful and I'm only going to go a quarter of a turn at a time. So I'll just go that a little bit more. Okay, that's about a quarter of a turn, and I'm just going to check it. Now, I've gone a little bit too far because there's almost no gap on the strings. So I'm just going to come back a little bit. Just tie it a little bit back check again. Just one more step further. So once the truss rod is engaged and giving you um, it's, it's harder to push, you only need to move it a very small amount. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we're just going to measure the action height of the guitar. Now this is a special tool that I have for measuring the action height, but you can just use a ruler. You've just got to make sure that the ruler starts at zero, so like a metal ruler like this, if you're using a wooden ruler it just won't work. But this is really good, it's nice and easy to measure. So if we just look over here and it's just touching the two and a half millimeter line. For most acoustics 
A good action height would be two and a half millimetres on the base and two millimetres on the treble and this one's just on those figures. So now the next step is as we've adjusted the truss rod is we just want to quickly tune it again. And because we've adjusted the truss rod the strings are all a little bit sharper. Just quickly check our adjustment again, make sure that our action height is right. Yep, looks pretty good. We'll check the gap at the 8th fret. Yep, that's looking good. And that's all you need to do to adjust your truss rod.